Welcome back to that dad guy. It is Monday, May the 16th, 2022. And today I'm going to show you some stamps. I mentioned that Linda in Georgia sent me a pack of stamps and uh, what's on the stamp or what's on the envelope might be an indication of what she sent inside. Um, but before I get to what Linda sent, I wanted to show you the up close on what Petra sent from the UK. Um, there's a couple stamps that she sent and uh, yeah, I didn't get a chance to really zoom in and let you uh, see them on uh, Friday's video. So I said that I would tag them along with this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let me show you those. So first, she sent me these two stamps. They're from Luxembourg. Christmas stamps from 2016. And then she also included these two from Japan. And this Christmas stamp from England. And on top of that, she sent me this older German stamp before the EU. Unfortunately, this one below has been torn, so this is no good, but uh, same vintage. And then the rest are also German stamps, but uh, since then, since the Euro. Thank you so much, Petra, for sending those stamps on. Uh, Petra's originally from Germany, so maybe some of these stamps came from uh, envelopes that she'd received uh, in correspondence, and same with the uh, international ones. Wherever they've come from, thank you so much for sharing them with me. Now, let me move on to what Linda in Georgia sent. Uh, this is not the first time she sent stamps, so thank you so much, Linda, for sharing the collection. And th this is a, a definite theme. You guys are gonna catch on quickly what the theme of these stamps are. They are American postage stamps, and uh, I think they're duplicates that she had from her collection. And so thanks so much, Linda, for sending those on. Here we go. So an American flag on a 42 cent stamp. And then we have this one here, also American flag type stamp. Honoring veterans. Don't tread on me. First Navy Jack, 1775. Are you seeing the trend yet? Old glory is the trend. So he, she has sent almost entirely American flag stamps. All different denominations. Some of them are forever stamps. Some of them you may watch if you're watching close and say, hey, she'd already sent that stamp before. Uh, no, she hasn't. Some of them say first class on them and some of them don't. So there might be just a slight difference in the stamp. If you're paying attention, you'll catch it. So if you see uh, this stamp here, and this stamp here, for example, well, that one's a first class. And that's just a regular 39 cent. So there are a couple options like that. There's a first class rate stamp again there. But if you were a collector of flags and stamps, this is quite a starter collection of American flag stamps. Some small denominations, as I've shown you, some five cent ones, 18 cents, and 22, all the way up into uh, 40 cents, I think, I believe. Another first class. Like this one here is not look like it's been cancelled. Most of them, I believe, are used, but there are a few in here that. If they're cancelled, they're very lightly cancelled. This one does not look cancelled, the 20 cent. When I think of Canadian stamps, I don't think nearly of a... This is a whole set here. Equality, Liberty, Freedom and Justice. 
I don't think of the Canadian flag being on a lot, but uh, I'm sure if I went back and looked at all the prints, I would be wrong. <laughs> and, and there probably are a lot of Canadian stamps that have the Canadian flag. All right, these ones here aren't necessarily the flags, they're shields, but they still give you the impression of the same. And then we've got a couple uh, Statue of Liberties and a Purple Heart. Another Medal of Honor. And P.S. Right soon. I thought that was an appropriate one to finish on. Now, what do you think? That's quite the collection of American flag stamps that Linda sent. So thank you so much, Linda, for all that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can see the differences in them. And uh, yeah, at some point, I guess, I'll put them together with my father's stuff. Right now I'm separating anything that's coming in. I'm separating them by, by countries and putting them in different envelopes. And then as my dad is working on uh, one of those countries, I'm going to present the envelope with him. Right now he's working on uh, some German stamps. And then I think after that he's going to move into some Indian stamps that he has. But he's got lots more to, uh, to keep him busy which is great because it keeps his mind busy too. Um, it helps him organize. He organizes by denomination. So if uh, he has a bunch of five cent stamps, he puts all those uh, five cent or five euro or whatever it happens to be uh, together. And then uh, if he has duplicates, he puts the duplicates together. So he's constantly sorting and resorting um, some of the stamps that he has. And I think that's really great for his brain to, to work that way. Um, patients that have uh, dementia and different things going on uh, they need to constantly be stimulated and I think this is a great way it's a hobby he's had for years uh, it's something he enjoys doing he can go off into his office and uh, look at the stamps and organize the stamps and it keeps him busy during the day so thank you for all of you guys that helped do that help um, continue uh, building his hobby uh, for those of you that send uh, Stamps that I enjoy as well. Thank you very much for that and the, the um, first day issues, that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm not asking for that, but I appreciate you guys being a part of it and helping out. So thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, stamp video. I'm going to have another one coming up this week, probably Wednesday. Um, if you watched my Friday video, you'll see that uh, Kristen from Sweden sent some stamps as well. So I'm going to be putting a video together for that. And uh, so stay tuned. Lots of good things. That Dad Guy Answers came out on Saturday, as it does each week. And so if you have questions for me, go back to the uh, most recent video for that. Leave your questions in there, and I'll answer them this weekend. If you've got Ukrainian stamps that you want to share, and uh, you can, if you don't have my address already, you can reach me in the uh, description of this below. You'll have my email address. You'll have my post crossing. Uh, Instagram, Robert Lennox. You can reach me that way, too. So I do have a video coming up for some Ukrainian stamps, which is great, but always in the market for more. So thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing, and hopefully your week is starting off right, and uh, you're going to have a full mailbox of things coming in. All right, stay safe. What, like, Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>